Yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, never play yourself, pay yourself. All right, so what's new with Sierra? I made an appointment with the dermatologist finally. You can see like my skin has gotten really bad and I just can't take it anymore. So I'll just do the consultation to see what they say. It's super bright, but yeah, it's pretty much it. Tomorrow I have a very exciting day. I'll just give you guys more details about that tomorrow, but yeah, let me put this down because I'm tired of people looking at me. They've been building this Fendi for a while and I'm getting frustrated because I really want to just see what it looks like already. Knowing good and well I'm not going to walk in the store because I haven't walked into any stores here, like any luxury stores. But I am. that's like something I'm going to do before I leave. Um, and I really want to see what the Fendi looks like because I actually like their product. So. Anyway, I just came back from the library. I completely forgot that I was vlogging today so I didn't get a clip of the library. But um, I was able to get the book. I'm really excited to read this. I'm going to try to read it in a week because I have to um, talk to my professor in two weeks. So I'm gonna, it's 300 pages, so I'm going to try to do about 40 pages a day. And then from there, I have to just show her the theories that I was able to get from it. And then from there, I'm gonna talk about the difference between the Japanese market and the USA market. But I'm headed to the health food store now because I forgot that I ran out of vitamins. And sometimes I feel like I can't even really afford to take care of myself like that like I can't really even afford vitamins but I make myself get them anyway and my main motivation for me to try to you know try to stay healthy as I can is because of my skin and I just feel like the skin was just here for vanity and it looked like how it's been looking with all this acne and stuff I wouldn't be tripping as hard as I am now about how bad my skin has gotten but because it's connected to my health, there's obviously something going wrong with me um, on the inside that I really need to try to figure out because health isn't something that I want to take for granted. So I'm going to get a multivitamin and then I'm going to get probably zinc and vitamin E depending on the cost. Right, so I ended up getting three different vitamins and then I called my mom to kind of help me. I got zinc, vitamin E, and multivitamin. And then I was going to get the vitamin B complex because it was on sale, but she told me it was still too expensive. But I have to get like the vegan, vegetarian ones. I've always had to get those, so I just have to pay a little bit more. The last thing I need to go get are some pads because tengo la regla. <laughs> the really cool thing about pads here, though, is that for a pack of 10, they're 69 cents. So. I don't mind paying that. All right, I'm going into this grocery store. I usually go to Diaz, but I've never heard of Dia Go. So let's see how this one is different than the other ones. Alright, so their pads are way too expensive here. I'm not about to pay no $3.98 because I get the, the nighttime pads and I wear them throughout the, the day because I just don't trust the little ones. But yeah, no, I'm not about to pay no $3.98 for some tissue. what I tell y'all 69 cent best believe I'm about to get to so we got the goods and I also got some water and the cool thing about their waters is that they have this handle but these are at the each one is a liter 
and a half. Y'all, I'm tired, but I need to make something to eat, so let's go to the kitchen. All right, so I got this thing of fajitas the other day. Never tried it, never made fajitas, but we're going to see how this works. And I'll probably have a granola bar and some tea as my little dessert. And yeah. All right, I ain't gonna lie to you guys, this smells fire. Like, I'm trying to figure out what's in here. It looks like orange pepper, red pepper, green pepper. I think some chicken. Yeah, because it had pollo on the bag. Some onion. And I can't tell really anything else, but it smells really good and then I've already heated up the yeah. okay so I tasted a piece of chicken and it's like it's not the best thing I've ever tasted but it's not bad for the food I've had here so <sighs> I can finally like sit back and relax and after I eat this I'm just going to finish editing two videos and then I'm gonna start reading and I'm gonna call it a day hey guys so today's Wednesday and I'm heading out to my dermatologist appointment I'm super, I don't want to say insecure or embarrassed, but that's kind of how I'm feeling right now about having to go outside with no makeup. And this is what my skin is currently looking like. And it just seems to keep getting worse and worse. So finally, I just said I'm going to at least get a consultation. Actually, within the past couple of days, I started using vitamin E capsules and I've bursted the caps capsule and then put that oil in my skin and I've noticed a huge difference. And I've also went to the body shop and got the tea tree oil, it's right here, tea tree oil um, toner. It's a, an astringent. So I feel like that's also been helping, but I need to do something about this because ya no puedo más. And I actually had this same problem when I moved to Madrid back in 2014. My skin literally did the same thing. So it's obviously something in either the water, the atmosphere that's making my skin react the way it has been. And it took a whole two years, like after I got back to the States for my skin to clear up. And as soon as I moved back here, it was like my skin was... Psh. So it's kind of frustrating when you work so hard, you spend so much money on something and you see results and then to have to start all the way back over. But it's going to work out. I'm going to have beautiful clear skin again and i'm taking the first step by moving in faith and even going to this appointment vamos a la dermatologist how do you say that in spanish made it back home from my dermatologist appointment and I felt like when I was walking there and back it was only a 30 minute walk um, there and 30 minute walk back but it was the longest 30 minute walk of my life I felt like because I was just so ashamed of my skin I was just on my phone like old dude trying to like cover up my acne and at the end of my appointment I honestly wanted to cry tears of joy and give that man a hug because I was that grateful to finally have the answer of to what was going on so this is what what has happened for some reason here in spain my skin produces a lot of oil and i want to maybe account that to the food and because i'm always outside so because it's so much sun here but when i first got here i was eating so much greasy food and when I started like cooking for myself, the culture just uses olive oil for everything. So I started using that. Just over time, that oil has built up in my skin. And he said, because my skin is so thick, the oil has had a hard time trying to escape. So if you don't know, Europe in general is pretty big on treatments like laser treatments and surgical treatments for the most part. It's like completely normal here. I've heard girls, you know, get 
breast augmentations when they turn 18 or they get laser hair removal it's just a culture so i was actually looking into that before i even went to the dermatologist because i when i, I figure when i go back to the states that i would try to get maybe a little bit of a quicker fix as opposed to taking another two years to get this taken care of it has become a problem with me and even with my confidence even going into some of these agencies knowing the way my skin is it's just they won't book me simply because of my skin and also other factors but yeah i really wanted more of um of a fix that i could have more quickly and really see results that would last that all being said so the treatment he recommended for me was taking certain vitamins but the vitamins would be a lot stronger than what you would get over the counter and then just a few topical products that is a french brand and they're a little bit stronger to kind of start to help activate everything and actually when i show you guys my acne the camera only picks up so much because in person i have also a lot of tiny bumps like i mentioned but you could see them in person like the tiny bumps and then i would do 15 treatments of the microdermal regions to help with little acne and the acne that's still popping up and then basically what it will do is just kind of help drain all that oil that's trapped up in my skin and then i would do four treatments of a laser treatment and that would help uh, clear up the dark marks and he said that you know if i do all the treatments I, it should be 90 percent gone by december and i was looking up the price even before i came here because I, like I, said, I was looking into more of these types of treatments and the u.s they just it's a lot of money and apparently this doctor is one of the best doctors in spain and the price honestly is really it's not that bad but i can't afford it right now which i also want to cry because of that but it's okay you know if it's for me god will provide the money but the cost would be 205 euros for four months and that would basically cover everything but yeah maybe going to the strip club and just picking up the dolls off the floor i'm determined to get this taken care of it's gonna happen i'm putting it out there into existence and skin is going to be even better than how it was before i got here so if you guys enjoyed the video if you want to be a homie don't forget to subscribe i will be uploading another vlog very soon um, about the citywide party that we had in spain so if you want to see that be sure to subscribe but until the next video assalamualaikum